It's a way of the Mr. Quickie, oh yeah. Last month I made a video titled Buyer Beware about the way people will use all their critical faculties researching a car or blender but then turn off those same critical faculties when it comes to religion. The technical term for this is special pleading. It's the application of one standard for this thing and an entirely different standard for the other, frequently driven by emotion, need, and or want. It's not necessarily done with any ill intent or a desire to deceive others or oneself. It's simply a way of thinking which grows naturally out of separating life into the natural and the supernatural. The religious are necessarily split in their thinking. For the natural world, the religious apply one set of critical thinking skills. For the supernatural, well, thinking skills don't apply, and that's not a dig. We simply have no direct experience with the supernatural, so no one has any reliable knowledge of the rules governing that imagined realm. The rules we use for our everyday lives here in the natural world, like logic, causation, falsification, etc., they don't and really can't apply. So the religious are entirely dependent on what those who have supposedly communed with the divine have told them about this supernatural realm. Add to that the notion that questioning and examination are forbidden, and you have an epistemological environment where the only option is faith. If you have no way to know for yourself anything about this supposed realm on which your eternal fate for time and all eternity is said to be entirely dependent, then the only thing you can do is trust those who claim to have a divine connection. For everything in your life about which our holy books or religious leaders have nothing to say, feel free to think for yourselves. But never forget that there is another realm of which you can have absolutely no knowledge beyond what we tell you. So listen and behave accordingly. If you're not going to demand evidence when people make a claim about something which is not already evident, you'll be taken by every con man on the planet. You know that. I know you know that, my religious friends, because you don't take things at face value when buying a car or blender or listening to your Muslim or Mormon friend pitch their religion. You check the web and do your homework. The videos are right here on YouTube to prove it. If you're going to believe in two realms, the natural natural and the supernatural, then you're going to have to wear two faces and embrace two standards. But one of those realms is self-evident. You're living in it. The other is based on nothing more than someone say so. If you demand more than someone say so to purchase a car, blender, or switch religions, why would you be so easy on someone selling mansions in the clouds and life eternal? If it's simply the fear they've instilled with the promise of eternal torment in a realm for which they can provide no evidence, then there's no need to look around for the easy mark. It's you. And you might as well face it with one face or the other. I'm me. Thanks for watching.